Om Bhura Bhuva Svetat Savitururvarinyam Bhargo Deva Sedinayam Diyo Yona Prachodayat Om Shanti 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 Namaskar my dear friends This is video number 40 on Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharishi Talk with Ramana Maharishi This video is starting with talk number 512 11th September 1938 talk number 512 Sri Bhagwan said all mistake the mind consciousness for self consciousness there is no mind in deep sleep but no one denies his being in sleep even a child says on waking i slept well and does not deny its existence the eye rises up the mind turns outward through the five senses and perceives objects this they call direct perception asked if i is not directly perceived they get confused because i does not announce itself as an object in front and only the perception with the senses can be recognized by them as knowledge this habit is so strong with them a stanza in theorem says o sages eager to get over all misery worry not about inferences and examples our light is ever shining forth from within with mind clear living god this is direct perception while the common people admit it they want god to appear in front of them as a bright being mounted on a bull such a vision once originated must also end it is therefore transient it is therefore transient theorem speaks of the eternal and ever experienced being this theorem takes one directly to the reality 16th September 1938 talk number 513 Major Chadwick again gave his versified translation of the mantra for Sri Bhagwan to read Sri Bhagwan softly spoke of the interpretation of the Bhasekara and further explained the same to consider the brahma loka as a reason is also admissible that is what the puranics say and many other schools also imply it by expounding karma mukti liberation by degrees but the upanishads speak of Sadhya Mukti Sadhya Mukti Immediate Liberation As in Na Tasya Prana Ut Karmanti Iyavya Parliviyante The Pranas do not rise up They lose themselves here So Brahm Loka will be realization of Dharma Dharma Sakshat Dharma Sakshat Kara it is a state and not a reason 
in the latter case parma parmarti paramritat must be properly understood it is para in as much as avyakrita is the causal energy transcending the universe amrita because it persists until the self is realized so that paramrita will mean avyakrita the karma mukti liberation by degrees school say that the upaska goes to the region of his ishta devta which is brahm loka to him the souls passing to all other lokas return to be reborn but those who have gained the brahm loka do not moreover those desires of a particular loka can by proper methods gain the same whereas brahm loka cannot be gained so long so long as there is any desire left in the person desirelessness alone will confer the loka on him his desirelessness signifies the absence of the incentive for rebirth the age of dharma is practically immeasurable the presiding deity of the loka is said to have a definite period of life when he passes away his loka also is dissolved the inmates are emancipated at the same time irrespective of the different nature of individual consciousness in them prior to self realization the karma mukti school objects to the idea of sadyo mukti immediate liberation because the jnani is supposed to lose body consciousness at the same time that ignorance is dispelled but he continues to live in the body they ask how does the body function without the mind the answer is somewhat elaborate knowledge jnana is not incompatible with ignorance ajnana because the self in purity is found to remain along with ignorance seed ajnana bija in sleep but the in- incompatibility arises only in the waking and dream states ajnana has two aspects avarna veiling and vikshepa multiplicity of these avarna veiling denotes the veiling hiding the truth that prevails in sleep multiplicity vikshepa is activity in different times this gives rise to diversity and prevails in waking and dream states jagrat and swapna if the veil that is avarna is lifted the truth is perceived it is lifted for a jnani and so his karna sarira causal body ceases to exist vikshepa alone continues for him even so it is not the same for a jnani as it is for an ajnani the ajnani has all kinds of vasanas that is kritritva to worship and bhoktartva enjoyership whereas the jnani has ceased to be doer karta thus only one kind of vasana obtains for him that too is very weak and does not overpower him because he is always aware of the sat chit ananda nature of the self 
the tenuous bhog bhogtritva vasana is the only remnant of the mind left in the jnani and he therefore appears to be living in the body this explanation when applied to the mantra amounts to this a jnani has his karna sharira destroyed the sthula sharira gross body has no effect on him and is for all practical purposes destroyed too the sukshma sharira subtle body alone remains it is otherwise called ati vahika sharira it is this which is held by all persons after the physical body is given up and with this they traverse to other lokas until another suitable physical body is taken the jnani is supposed to move in brahm loka with this sukshma sharira then that is also dissolved and he passes to final liberation the whole explanation is meant only for the onlooker the jnani himself will never raise such questions he knows by his experience that he is not bound by any kind of limitations devotee what is the final emancipation according to the foregoing explanation maharishi replies the ativahika or the sukshma sharira corresponds to the pure light which one experiences just after sleep and before the rise of the ego it is cosmic consciousness that is only the light reflected from the heart when the reflection ceases and abides as the original light in the heart it is final emancipation devotee but yoga vasishta says that the chitta mind of a jeevan mukta is achala unchanging maharshi replies so it is achala chitta unchanging mind is the same as shuddha manas pure mind the jnani's manas is said to be shuddha man manas the yoga vasishta also says that brahmam is no other than the jnani's mind so brahmam is shuddha manas only devotee will the description of brahmam as satya chitta ananda shoot this shuddha manas for this too will be destroyed in the final emancipation mercy replies if shuddha manas is admitted the bliss ananda experienced by the jnani must also be admitted to be reflected this reflection must finally merge into the original therefore the jivan mukti state is compared to the reflection of a spotless mirror in another similar man mirror what will be found in such a reflection pure akasha ether similarly the jnani is reflected bliss ananda represents only the true bliss these are all only words it is enough that a person becomes antarmukhi inward bent the shastras are not needed for an inward turn mind they are meant for the rest talk number 514 Mr Magliver a resident devotee asked Sri Bhagwan if he might go to Switzerland where a guru was inviting him Sri Bhagwan said some force brought him here and the same is taking him to Europe 
let him always remember that the world is only a projection of the mind and the mind is in the self wherever the body may move the mind must be kept under control the body moves but not the self the world is within the self that's all 17th september 1938 talk number 515 devoti in the explanation given yesterday it is said that the removal of avarna results in the annihilation of the karna sridha that is clear but how is the gross body considered to fall off to maharishi replies the vasanas are of two kinds bandha hetu causing bondage and bhoga hetu only giving enjoyment the gyani has transcended transcended the ego and therefore all the causes of bondage are inoperative bandha hetu is thus at an end and prarabdha past karma remains as bhoga vasna to give enjoyment only therefore it was said that the sukshma sharira alone survives gyana kevala says that sanchita karma stored karma is at an end simultaneously with the rise of gyana that agami karma now collecting is no longer operative owing to the absence of the sense of bondage and that prarabdha will be exhausted by enjoyment bhoga only thus the last one will end in course of time and then the gross body also falls away with it sharira traya the three bodies and karma traya the three karmas are mere phrases meant for the delectation of debaters a gyani is not affected by any of them an aspirant is instructed to find who he is if he does so he will take no interest in discussing such matters as the above find the self and rest in peace 22nd september 1938 talk number 516 a question arose if the world is real or unreal since it is claimed to be both by advaitins themselves sri bhagwan said that it is unreal if viewed as apart from the self and real if viewed as the self 25th september 1938 talk number 517 there was some reference of two shlokas in yoga vasishta where separatism is malecha besa is mentioned mr mcleaver said that black magic is more prevalent in the west than its than is ordinarily known to the observer the writer then remembered how mr paul brunton had once said that he actually feared a woman for her association with black magic sri bhagwan asked if the gentleman had read devika lotram he then said that abhichara prayoga black magic is condemned there he also added that by such practices one compasses one's own ruin avidya ignorance is itself bad and makes one commit suicide why should black magic be also added to it 
devotee. What is the Pratikriya, remedy open to the victim of black magic? Maharishi replies, Bhakti, devotion to God, devotee. Non-resistance seems to be the only remedy for all kinds of evil such as slander. Maharishi replies, Quite so. If one abuses another or injures him, the remedy does not lie in retort or resistance. Simply keep quiet. This quiet will bring peace to the injured but make the offender restless until he is driven to admit his error to the injured party. This black magic is said to have been used even against the greatest saints in India since time immemorial. The tapasvis of Daruka forest used it against Shiva himself. Then the conversation turned on Brahmaloka. Sri Bhagwan said, Brahmaloka is the same as Atma Loka. Again, Brahm lo Brahm Brahma Eva Loka ha is equal to Brahm Loka ha. Brahma is himself the reason and Brahma is Atma. So Brahm Loka is only the self. Brahm Loka is only the self. Loka Aloka are both synonymous. It is the same as Ananda Milakkam in Ullado Narpadu. Loka Yate Iti Loka Ha. That which is seen is Loka. So, I, this video is completed and next video will start with talk number 518. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment and share the video and subscribe the channel. Namaskar my dear friend.